welcome dear student in this lecture i will show how to create control chart in spaces a process is said to be controlled if its process mean remain almost constant over time and process variation is stable i gather a data here the problem is about textile engineers suppose a r&d that is research and development manager examine the gsm of the fabric sample produced in the weaving section to investigate whether the process is in under control he randomly randomly takes 10 samples of gsm of fabric from a process we have to examine whether the process is uh, with control limits or the process is under control. To do this, we have to know what is control limit. You can see here, there are three lines. Uh, upper line is called control limit UCL and the middle line is called central limit, sorry, central line and lower line is called what central limit so this is the line and this is the three sigma control limits for the for any process variation process control so what we have to do we will first have to draw this three line and then and then check i have to check and uh, whether each sample mean is fall between these two lines UCL and LCL like that so to know whether the process mean is stable we have to construct X bar chart like that and to know whether the process variation is stable we have to construct range chart so in this video i will show how to construct x bar chart and range chart to know whatever, whether the gsm of the fabric is under control or not so let's start so to do this in spaces open the spaces program then go to variable view go to variable view and you have to type sample number uh, and we we use case as sample number so we have to just type x1 here just a minute in variable view you have to type x1 then x2 x3 x4 and x5 so we have 10 sample in each sample there are four observations so now go to the data view in data view just select this data and copy this data and paste in here slow computers okay just in here so we have the data now to know whether the process is in under control that is whether the mean is under control and the process variation is stable we have to construct control chart so to do this we can analyze and go to quality control control chart in this uh, window we can see that there are several various types of charts variable charts x bar and r, r and attribute charts and p and p c u so we select x bar and r chart and s chart i select in here this or that select x bar r s chart this is important data organization 
are unit, whatever the cases are unit or cases are subgroup. Since we have sample, so in this case, cases are considered as subgroups. So cases are subgroups. Then go to define. Uh, so our sample is our, uh, there are 10 sample and each has four observations. So select all this observation here and click on X bar using range and also select display archer and go to title if you want to give any title or just omit and most important control rules we want to build a 3 sigma quality control so select above 3 sigma and below 3 sigma and other options are also important but this is the these are the beyond of this lecture so just select above plus 3 sigma and below minus 3 sigma okay just uh, click continue in statistics uh, if you have any specification limit you can insert here but in this case we don't have we we have no specification limit continue and click ok so in output window Okay, now to do we can see here is mean chart and here is range chart. So what we can guess from here? What we can conclude from here? Mean chart we can see that the first first dot is sample mean of the first sample. Here in each sample there are four observations. So we simply can complete the mean one zero six and other sample mean also calculated. So the sample means shown in this plot. The first sample mean is under control because uh, first sample mean, second sample, third sample mean, fourth, fifth but all these sample means are in control limit but one sample mean that is six sample mean this is not in control so overall the process mean is not in control secondly whatever the process variation we can see that all process all sample range are between this limit that is upper control limit and lower control limit so we can conclude from here that the process variation is in under control so that's all you can analyze your own data to construct simple expert chart and uh, range chart using SPSS. thank you